Hey everybody, it's Vortech, and welcome back to Rising World. This is episode 25, and today is going to be a little bit different. I'm just going to be going around today, kind of collecting some materials, maybe fixing some stuff up as we go, as I kind of see it. Maybe I'll we'll just kind of put some furniture in this house. Really, this episode is about kind of talking to you guys about my life outside of YouTube. Now, I made a vlog about this on Sunday, and a lot of people don't really watch the vlogs that I do, which is fine. Uh, most of you are here for whatever specific game or games you want to watch, and sitting me watching their, uh, sitting and watching me talk, I totally understand if you're not into that. So, I figured I would take an opportunity to kind of like address you guys uh, directly. Those of you who watch Rising World, which is the most viewed uh, series on the channel for sure, and tell you a little bit about what's been going on. Uh, but first, I'm going to be looking through here. I'm going to, I'll still play the game. I'll still, you know, go through some of this stuff. I'm, I need to go find some food, and I think I might have some raw food stowed away. Uh, I am dying, though. I have a watermelon, which might help my thirst and my, uh, my hunger, which in the, at the bottom right is red. Now, it's not hurting my health or anything, but it is definitely a concern. So I'm going to take this watermelon uh, and try eating it. This is how you replenish thirst. I actually missed this when I was recording that video. You can see, you see hunger going up slower than thirst, but thirst is fully green now. Hunger is getting there, and I think that is about it. I'll just eat all that. There we go. A whole watermelon did it. Sweet. So, yeah, what's been going on? So I've been working another job. Which I don't have time for, but I'm doing it anyway because it's more of a dream job. I have been working on making a... Ooh, you know what I want to do? I want to make a grill for the front porch of that place. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, I, I'm working on putting together a new career for myself, if you will. And so I've been doing an audiobook, which isn't really another job. It's just like a... Uh, I need one of these. Let's just make some iron sheets, some iron rods. Yeah. Uh, the audiobook is a temporary thing, but it could lead to more work in the future. I'm also working with a video production guy locally out here and going on shoots with him. And uh, all these things are, that's the kind of work I've been looking for for some time now. Like, for the, well, for a pretty long time. I've been wanting to find some kind of work in that profession. So, what are we looking for? We're looking for grills and cooking things, right? Ah, here we go. Smoker or a grill or a cooking. Mmm. The smoker's definitely more fancy. We'll go with that. So, I've been doing that. I've been doing the audiobook, and I've been trying to balance that with my actual, you know, my more steady job uh, as a sushi chef. And all these things are awesome. I'm really happy that I have the opportunity to do a whole bunch of different stuff. But it's taking quite the toll. Uh, it really is, as you would imagine. It, it's just, it's hard, it's difficult to find time to do YouTube videos and work essentially three jobs, at least for now it's three. So, with that, all I'm trying to say is the episodes of Rising World that are that have been like 20 something minutes long, there's gonna be times where they're not that long. Like this one, I'm gonna keep it short, just kinda derp around and talk to you guys. Uh, and I don't wanna do any more of these episodes where I'm not really doing an episode. You know, this I wanna make this the only one, and so I'm just getting, you know, getting this out of the way. One of the things I had said I wanted to do like a long time ago, uh, was to do a video every day, or even before that, a video. Ev wow, some of these chairs are awesome. A video every you know other day, and I've been doing pretty well with getting out a video every single day. I'm, I'm gonna go with the red. It's sweet. Let's do two of them. Uh, I've been doing pretty well with that, but lately it's been kind of slipping, and I've been feeling bad about it. I don't want to slip up. I like doing you know multiple videos every day, but uh, at the same time, you c as you can imagine. It hasn't, you know, <laughs> you guys have been around, you know. It hasn't been going as planned. So, I'm just saying, for now, there's going to be kind of a scattered upload schedule, which is what I talked about in my last video, uh, my last vlog, actually. It's going to be a scattered upload schedule, and I'm, I'm going to do my very best to get videos out as I can. I don't want to appear like I'm quitting YouTube or anything like that, because that's definitely not the case. YouTube is something I've been working on for a very long, long time, and I do not intend to shut down my channel anytime soon. But it, it's important for me to pursue other career goals at the same time. So that is kind of what I wanted to talk about. Uh, mostly that's it. So... Real quick, I put these chairs out here. I think they look kind of nice. Maybe like a little table in between those so people can set down their drinks and look out. You know, really create a party atmosphere. Uh, I'm thinking maybe a light right here or something. Maybe like a standing light. 
Uh, and then inside we need more stuff going on as well. So I'm just kind of getting furniture and filling this house up. So yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. That was the big one. Just getting uh, getting time to do things in life. Uh, it's just gonna it's gonna be a bit before things go back to normal, especially with this audiobook. Once the audiobook is finished, then you'll see that I'm I'm able to do more videos and, and have more free time to do things like that. But it's just gonna you know it's gonna be a bit of a transition. So thank you for your understanding. I really do appreciate it because this has been quite the uh, <laughs> event, la very eventful last month or so. And yeah, I just so far you guys have been pretty understanding about it and on my side. And I just really appreciate it. So thank you. Uh, we got a little table. I'm going to put that in between the chairs and see how it looks. Uh, another thing someone said in the comments, and I wish I could pull up your name because I need to yell at you about something. But you had a suggestion about putting a trim on this like it's supposed to be flat it looks nice but it needs something else and I was thinking I could use this texture as a really subtle trim going around the edges especially around the door like it doesn't look too good right there and I've been trying with this beam here to put it up there and as you can see it just kind of glitches out the higher I go and it wants to go up here I'm gonna put some of these I think on over here I'm gonna put some of these beams like here because it just I think it'll look pretty cool but my point is there is, like, no way I can get a trim up there. So I'll figure that out. I, I do agree. It needs something. But the reason I want to yell at you is because you're... And some of you might have this problem where people can't reply to your comments. It's a very common thing. Sometimes Google just sets it so that you can't reply to uh, comments. That's just how it is. And so what you need to do is go into your Google Plus settings and turn that feature on. So I wanted to say, hey, great idea... Thank you for the suggestion, and I couldn't because you have that turned off. So if you if you know who you are, definitely check that out. And if you ever have a problem where you're like, why doesn't he answer my comments, but he answers everyone else's, that's probably why. So check that out. A few of you have that little problem there. So yeah, that's about all the like PSAs I wanted to cover in this video. Let's see if I can get any more nice looking furniture for that room. Now I feel like we need some more tables going into the uh, into the house itself. Some round tables might not be bad because we're, we're kind of creating more of a restaurant feel in there, uh, if you will. But not really a restaurant, but a lounge, and it needs it needs something. So I'm thinking these, these sit kind of low, and I already started with the white table outside, so maybe we can do some more white tables. Uh, let's make, like, three of them. I might not even need three. And I wonder if we go into seatings, I can get uh, a couch. Okay. And I can go with red again. We'll keep the color scheme going. We'll make two of these couches. And I'll just see what the heck I can come up with with these. So we'll go in here. Uh, we'll start with the couches first. Maybe uh, I can place them against the wall, perhaps. And... Okay, let's see. So I could do a couch right here. Uh, maybe centered with that window right there. And... Alright, I wonder how it would look if I did another couch like that. Let's see, that's not right, because the, the where they meet is annoying. Like, that's going to piss me off. Let's do a round table, though, in front of the couch and see. Okay. So you kind of see what I'm going for. I would like, I would really like an L-shaped couch with a table, like, in between. But we don't have an L-shaped couch option. Uh, but you know what? I don't think, I think a coffee table there might look nice. But let's not, let's not get too convoluted. I'll, I'll put a round table... I don't want to block that little pathway like going to the other door. I'll just put one round table here, and we'll find some sleek-looking chairs to go with that round table. So right there. There we go. And I know do we need another sofa? Maybe maybe one more sofa in the kitchen area where I was gonna put some uh, maybe some kitchen counters and a stove in there or something. I'm gonna put this couch for now. Maybe. Maybe I'll kind of stick the kitchen stuff back here a little bit more. Someone put, said I should put like a, uh, a table, like a long table in here. But I don't think I can fit the table and chairs in that little alcove. So we'll just kind of go with that for now. Uh, but yeah, I'm about at my, almost at my 10 minute mark here. And I didn't want to make this video too long because, like I said, going back to my busy life, this job I have, this sushi job, I have to go to work twice in one day most of the days I work. So it makes it very difficult for me to like find time to record because Wednesdays for example I go into work and then I come home for a little bit to eat lunch and stuff and then I gotta go, gotta go back for the dinner shift it's awful if you ever find a job that wants you to work a split shift avoid it do not do that if you can avoid it because it's it really is 
a terrible, terrible way to uh, have employees work for you. I, I hate it, but, you know, we do what we can. Uh, these are, like, the most red chairs I can find, and I'm low on lumber, so I'll have to make some more lumber, but I need a couple chairs. Let's craft up some more lumber. I thought I'd need to gather resources, but we're pretty good. Uh, we'll go into seatings again and make some nice-looking chairs, some red, red oak, whatever the heck you want to call it. I'll make two of those, and we'll throw those up here. There we go. I'll also have to find a, a use for that, that covered area. I don't know. Maybe maybe just a, a sign that says you can smoke over here, but nowhere else. All right, and let's put the chair... The chairs kind of... I want them kind of... Uh, yeah, like that. That looks pretty good. And we'll put another one right here. I hope that's even with the... Uh, oh, actually, you know what? It's kind of over here. That looks weird. Did I do this right? Let's see. I'm just kind of looking at the squares in relation to the table itself. And we are right... I kind of think it looks better right there, but that doesn't... We'll just put it... Whatever. Who cares? People are going to be sitting here and using these, so it's fine. There we go. Alright, so we have a little bit of a space now. I still need to figure out that kitchenette area. Uh, maybe do that off camera. I didn't even plan on working on this house today. I was just going to walk around and do stuff, but that's what I ended up doing. So thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for your understanding and listening to me bumble through my, my life story. Uh, I will hopefully see you guys very soon with videos as much as I possibly can make them. Once I get the book out of the way and kind of figure out my schedule, we should be going back to one video a day. I'll do my best. But for now, if you find that uh, I'm missing upload days, don't panic. It's just me trying to sort out my crazy life. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Aside from that, I also at the same time, on the same day, was told that I got an audiobook. I have an audiobook to do now, it's my very first one, and it's a small thing, it's only going to take about a couple weeks to do.